Well, everybody, this campaign has certainly been bloody and epic. And today's episode is going to be of no exception. Today we are starting off the episode with a siege at Alalia. The Carthaginians are attacking us with a naval force of transport ships containing uh, an army of hoplites and a particularly large army <laughs> of um, levies. So this is going to be a little bit of a struggle, I fear. But I do have two ships and we have, of course, been improving our naval uh, research as well. So the ramming abilities of my ships has been improved in uh, the last few turns or few episodes. And I'm going to basically aim for these Samnite warriors and their general and basically cripple their morale and remove their strongest unit from the battle. And that will leave just the hoplites. And as we found in the last episode against the Syracusians, was that last episode was that episode four? It was episode four, whichever episode this number is. I think this is six. So as we found in the battle against Syracuse, hoplites pretty weak against the Hestati. <laughs> Unless you've got the normal, the, the bog standard hoplites. If you've got militia, you're in for a rough ride. But if you've got the normal hoplites, you might stand a chance if you can use them properly. So, like I said, my aim for this is going to be to target those Samnite ships. Um, I'm guessing the Samnites are... Yes, they are, they are on a transport. I was going to say, the picture of the Samnites didn't quite make it look like they were on board a transport ship, but they are. And quite interestingly, they have separated their army out. Um, okay, so their general and their... Ca okay, so I can't target their general by boat. But their cavalry, mercenary, their mercenary cavalry and their general are all on this flank. And actually, well, I mean, I could target their general. I can remove... The general quite easily actually with some infantry uh, so what we're going to aim for is the Samnites and I think I'm going to try and go for those Libyan hoplites as well let's see or should I go for or maybe I should go for the Mercury Scutari I'm not too sure I think the Scutari are pr is pretty well protected it's got three javelin units so I mean I suppose I could you know sacrifice one of my boats and use up their ammunition and hit the Scutari what's the Scutari got I can't even check. That's a pity. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Samnite transport ship first. Ready and awaiting orders. I think I'm going to come in from the side just to try and keep away from Ready, the um, Libyan javelin men as much as possible. I could, in fact, actually target these two transports and get rid of them with one of my ships. I think that might be a good option. Ready so we're going to see if we can do that. In the meantime, everybody on land, let's see, what can I do? Well, first of all, let's just get everybody over here. And seeing as the general is coming in by cavalry, I could, I suppose, have my general... Or maybe just my Rari down here to deal with the enemy cavalry. But I kind of feel like the cavalry is just going to charge up this way and then and attack the town centre. So, um, hmm. I mean, I suppose I could try and block this point. I'm going to need to deal with the levies on as they land. I don't really want them to disembark and form up and then be a missile threat. So maybe what I'll do is I'll have some Hastati here and I'll charge them down the slopes. There's a couple of landing points here. There's one here and there's one here. So I'll have one, like one Hastati hit this area, another one hit this point. Uh, there's some more here. So maybe I'll have another unit over this side. Have I got 400 Principes? Okay. So maybe I'll do that as well. And I'll keep my general in the town centre away from all the fighting. Uh, let's... Okay, so let's take... Oh, we've got three Rorari, so I could... So what I might do then is I might block... One access point there. I'm going to block a second point... think here I've just taken the same unit whoops uh, put this one back over here 
And then one there, and then what I'll do is I'll put the third Hurry! unit. Uh, I'm going to put them in here. But if the enemy cavalry does come in this direction, I can always pull across like maybe this unit or this unit in this direction just to block because they can obviously go around here as well. So we'll hold our ground. There, so I'll put them as group four. Okay, so then, Hastati. Not a lot's going to hit this point. So I'll probably put my inexperienced Hastati over there. And I'm going to put my... I'm going to put one Hastati here. Brown, the Principe is over all. here. The other Hastati go here. Hastati. Hastati. So, I'm going to so I've got a lot of levies to use as well. So I'm going to put a couple of levies up here as well. Missile infantry. And I'm going to keep my other That's two levies service. in reserve General. back in the town centre. Right, these plebs as well. I'm just going to basically block up any gaps that uh, enemy cavalry or infantry could exploit that I haven't got guarded. Just as like a little bit of a levies. buffer. And then these two levies are just going to chill out with the general in the middle. And they, they could be on my Romans little reserves. And have them facing command. that way actually so they can just run straight ahead. And that will do, I think. So. Let's get started. Ships at your command. Ships at your command. Right. See if we can get rid of these Samnites. We need to get rid of these Samnites. I hope. That this is going to be a good enough ram attack. <laughs> There we go. I think both of my ships are about to collide at the same time. They're going to throw their javelins in a second. And it was not a good enough attack. Nope, my ship's routed. I managed to get one of the hoplites though. But I'm not going to get that Samnite ship. That is annoying. Okay. Well, we'll have to deal with them later on. In the meantime, I'm going to I'm going to focus on this hoplite because it's the closest unit and at least I can get rid of another one. In fact, I'm going to pull across and maybe hit these guys too. Broadside. Didn't quite do enough damage. The Samnite ship will go down if I hit it one more time. Right, there goes that ship. I suppose I could go around and hit it again. Enemy cavalry is just chilling. <laughs> right, we're going we're to focus on the hoplites. Hit this unit here. That's two enemy units down. That javelin should be out of range. Oh. Hit it again, hit it again, hit it again. Alright, that's two down. They're going to land before I can get round to them, so that's a pity, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull our ship forward. Hopefully we're going to stay out of range of those javelin men. Okay, right, let's just slow this down for a second. I'm going to need a javelin unit over here, I think. I kind of want to go in and attack now, but... I'm just going to get javelin in the face. <laughs> the enemy cavalry is just still sitting there, so I'm actually going to pull the Rari down here, just to block that off. And that will give me the ability to bring some more units around here. In fact, uh... Okay, that's fine. Right, let's see if we can hit this boat before it lands. Jupiter gives I'm going to try and get that mercenary Scutari as well. Show them steel to the oars. Hit it again, hit it again, hit it again, just before it lands. Come on. 
Perfect. Hop light down. Give way! Right, turn. Just turn on the spot, that's fine. Right, Stop. hold. Slow motion. <clears throat> right, Hastati, let's move down here. And bring some javelins around here as well. We're gonna bring our other Hastati. In fact, I'm gonna come in from the side here. Right, we're blocking off the enemy cavalry. My Hastati should be good to move in. Oh, they are throwing javelins as well. That's not fun. Hit it again. Can you hit it again before you route, please? Yes. Oh, and then they the routed. Oh, that is perfect. the boat sinks. <laughs> it's quite the view, isn't it? Alright, Marari are being attacked by the Cav. We've also engaged with our troops here. We're also getting javelins inside, which is not fun. Move in. In fact, I could probably just bring my Hastati forward, but I'm not really going to do that. Uh, in fact, let's bring some plebs in this direction, just to help out. Rari, you need to... Oh, you're not really holding very well, are you? Let's bring these guys around. These Rari, let's go and bring them back around here. Javelin those guys. We're losing quite a lot of Hastati, unfortunately. these guys can get to position faster, then we'll be in an okay spot. But, uh, yeah, my ship's completely fled off. Come down this little slope, get a nice view here. Nice beach assault here. Right, you guys can hold fire because I think you're actually shooting Arrow and Hastati as well. Why aren't you... There we go, now you're throwing. I was going to say, why aren't you throwing? Right. Pin them down. I'm going to support the plebs with a javelin here. Bring some more this way. Our general can come this way as well. Right, the Rari is holding. Finally. They were struggling originally. This Astarte unit is getting absolutely wrecked, but we're going to support them now with a nice charge into here. Javelin's down quite a bit. The plebs are holding them off for now. We await your command. Wait. Where are you? What? Our men flee What's going the on there? <laughs> this is I don't understand. Right, my Hastati unit there is getting absolutely decimated. Let's Advance form up the one behind. Ah, just throw them all into the fight. Go for it. Commander, 
One of our units has used all its ammunition. And then charge into the back of the Samnites, because the Samnites have absolutely wrecked this start unit. You might pin them down with this other pin this one and then shoot them in the back. Yep, it's gonna be perfect. So the let's is turning in our favor. form there. Rurari. Don't have to hold ground anymore, just absolutely destroy this Gutari unit. And there's a cab unit, cabman. Bodyguard's down by quarter. You didn't notice I had to try and work that out very quickly in the top of my head. I'm very good at maths, as you can tell. Uh, we are down to 103 men in this unit over here. That's surprising. I don't know where the... Where on earth have their 103 gone? I don't know. <laughs> my plebs have returned, though, which is nice. They're not going to be needed, though. Oh, I think I know what it is. The unit sizes can't be supported by the ships. So even though it says there's like 400 men here, or 200 out of 400, there actually isn't going to be. Well, that's a little bit of a cheat for us then, <laughs> for this campaign. Don't know where they're off to, but sure. I don't know if this is going to cause a problem. Our general is under attack. Duty. Oh, stabbed him, stabbed him. Are they just going to appear in random places, maybe? We've got a random banner just seeing. I mean, you can tell, you can see, like, there's like a water ripple effect going on on this banner. I mean, you can't tell because every time I zoom in, it moves it. Oh, no. Can't, still can't zoom in. There's, it looks like there's some kind of ripple effect on there. Put them down! Proud Romans all. Bring my levies over there just to. Uh, my, yeah, my levies. Just to see if I can give a little bit of support. Put some of those guys in here and in here and in here just to keep that town centre under my control. I don't want things going wrong. One Levyman here, and now he's dead. Romans, ready for duty. Advance at speed. Advance Send a Rurari unit over there just to see what happens. No, no they're out of range. Never mind. The enemy general is dead. Perfect. The fact I managed to take out about five or six ships with two of my own very badly damaged ships just goes to show me that uh, had I been able to attack this out in the water with a reasonable force, I would have absolutely decimated these troops. Right, so the only problem I have now is I don't know how to win this game with this one unit kind of just glitched under the map. <laughs> Loads of troops in the town centre just in case there's any shenanigans from the game. Fast forward and just see. Like, Rari, you can hold hold position here. You aren't going to be able to shoot them, are you? Said I was getting shot for a second. If I bring you walking across them, anything? Whoa! Did I just lose a load of men? I think I may have done. Well, this is a little bit unfair. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I did. I, I lost like I thought. I, I thought the number looked like it dropped dramatically. I lost like thirty odd men here. Ah, come on, AI. That's a little bit cheaty. Well, I can't seem to do anything about this. So I will cut the video here, and I will pop back once the time limit has dropped down to like the last 10 seconds. So I'll be right back. All right, we are back down to the last 10 seconds, and as you can see, absolutely nothing has changed. <laughs> so we're just waiting for the AI to realize that its men have all decided to become mole men and are no longer taking part in the battle. And there we go. So, total victory. As you can see, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got five, oh no, five ships. We've got five ships sunk before they landed. Their main force was their Samnite. They were doing the most damage, I think, to our infantry. Well, actually, no, maybe the cavalry. Maybe the cavalry. But uh, that was the, that was what I was considering the biggest threat, was the Samnites. And uh, I failed to uh, take out their transport, but I did use one ship to take out another five. So if I'd put all of my ships on that right-hand side, I think I may have actually wiped out most of their sh ships beforehand. All right, so I could enslave 216 people. That gives me 1,100 wealth. Um, I am actually very tempted to do that, even though I know that uh, it can have an impact on public order, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, we need the money. We need the cash. There's a lot of ships. <laughs> oh no, they're going for a Riminum. They went to a Riminum. Well, there's not really much point in fighting this one, is there? But... I don't, I can't, it's not like the later Total Wars where you can actually look at the uh, terrain either. I can't even see what's coming our way. So I might be able to just like chill out in one area of the map or something. I don't know. I don't think I am. I'm just going to, I'm not going to bother with that one. Okay, so we're going to have to go and retake Ariminum then. They lost 620. Say and tell it. Subject goes no notoriety. That's fine. And can we reach a remnant? Yes, we can. Perfect. Seventeen against twenty. Let's go lay siege. So apparently, they have the advantage. Can I get some mercenaries? I can. I can recruit a whole load of mercenaries to assist me for this fight. Good, good. And we have three thousand four hundred on hand. Okay. So before I do any of that. Let's just make sure there's nothing else that I need to do. Uh, let's increase weapon damage there. We now have a bigger garrison. Perfect. Brundisium, two more turns there. Uh, Syracuse. Oh, yeah, we need to actually swap some things around here. Oh, gosh. Uh, well, let's go for Field of Mars. Uh... Then let's recruit some mercenaries. I'm thinking I've got space for three. So I'm thinking I'm going to get some like throwaway units. So I might get some mercenary gladiatrices because their attack is just ridiculous. So I'm going to get one of them. I'm going to get a couple of those, which leaves me with 1700. Perfect. We're negative 174, but don't forget that's just for the one battle. And then over here, let's get the main settlement swapped over. We can do that one next time. And <clears throat> the repairs will just work themselves out eventually. Okay, so what do we have ship-wise? I can't attack any of this because they will get supported by another boat. Syracusians are slowly dying, which is fine. So I'm just going to leave them to it. So let's sort out this attention. Some fool has been caught defacing the Temple of Jupiter. Such matters should not be taken lightly. I'm not paying off the temple. I'm not going to punish him. I'm going to hand him over to the authorities to make their decision. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Now, diplomacy. Anything we need to sort out here at all? Nope. Anything politically? I mean, there's plenty we need to do politically. Oh, look. Negative 13. They hate the Greeks. Minus 3, plus 9, minus 13. So things are slowly improving. Slowly improving. <laughs> So, where's my... Which general do I have in Alalia? Oh, it's him. Oh, okay, so the Cornelia, Cornelia general is in Syracuse. Ah, that's why it's dropped so much, because he's successfully taken Syracuse. So that's why he's so happy. That fleet's sailing away. That's good. Yes. Right, I need to improve you. Oh, plus 10% ramming bonus. Yep, we're going for the zeal route. In fact, I'm actually going to get another couple of boats with the remaining cash I have. And we are going to attempt to retake Ariminum. So it's 5,200 Romans against 6,400 of the Delmatai. Okay, let's see what happens. They haven't had enough time to do too much to the settlement, so it should be pretty straightforward. I have a lot of javelins. Plus, my troops have Pelum. I don't know if the enemy's troops have missile abilities. Well, I mean, I'm not going to attack from this direction. I'm going to attack from... I'm going to take the normal AI route. I'm going to come down here, down here. If need be, I'll come around the flank. Um, right. So I'm going to have Mercenaries and my two weakest Astarte in a group. And I'm going to have these guys next, along with my general. I think I've got all of these levies. I need to replace these levies at some point as well because they are not the max unit number I can get. Let me just bring everything in there. General, I look around and I am proud to be your general. Any soldier would say the same. Courage. So many. Can Illyrian... I still... I can't tell if Illyrian spearmen can throw stuff. I don't think they can. But I have been wrong before. This is going to be a pretty big battle, I think. Moving my camera all over the place. <laughs> they don't look too friendly. Well, no, I'm not very friendly. And when you've taken my town... camera view here for you guys just so you can get a bit of an idea as to what we're up against Got some cavalry here as well I think there's a mercenary cavalry actually if I remember rightly and we got all of these guys to deal with they haven't been impacted by the Corinthian helmets but then obviously they are Illyrian so they may look like hoplites and spears but they're they're just not <laughs> okay uh, right, let's... Of Italia! I don't know where... I'm not know how I'm going to do this. I suppose maybe oh, I'll use group 2 to hit <clears throat> this open side. And then I'll use my main body to hit this side. Uh, group 2. 
Actually, General, you can be your own group. I don't want you coming towards the fight yet. Oh, I've got the groups of 160 in here. Right, okay, so... You guys can look after the General, and I'll just use... These guys here. Marching order! Ready! Orders! Flank. Happy to serve Rome. Now we'll just let everybody move into position. Maybe we'll run a bit now, just to speed things along. So the murdered gla mercenary gladiatrices have killing spree. Which does increase weapon damage but increases fatigue. And we've got Frenzy. Which does charge damage and weapon damage but also fatigue. So a couple of uh, cool little bonuses. But uh, warriors! they do cause some problems. Right, let's... So what we're going to do Jupiter gives us is you three. We're going to run across to here. Time. And you Let's guys are going to run forward to here. Quick march. Warriors eager for Orders. You Many guys infantry. are going to push up to here. Advance. Gladiatrices Ready. are going to come forward as well. I'm actually going to take fire at will off on my levies at the moment. Cavalry. cavalry. In forward. In you guys forward Rome, two. By your command. Jeff behind the levies. Brave Romans to a man. Understood. Pastati. Advance at Bring those guys around. Range issue up. Excellent. Spill the first blood. Gonna take a moment for them to actually realise they need to throw this. Heal them. That unit is going down dramatically. They're going to do a little swap around. That's fine. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this front section with these Hastati and then flank them with my Gladiatrices. And I'm going to bring these Hastati forward to block off here just to prevent any reinforcements coming down this road. And outflanking me, basically. So let's line ourselves up. We're going to keep, keep our guard mode with this unit, with these units here. Hastati! Is not going to fire again. Infantry at your command. Hastati. Orders. Melee troops awaiting orders. Right. Let's go into slow motion. Let's do a nice view here. This guy here. Oh, I feel so bad. And then I remember that they conquered my territory and I felt less bad. Excellent. So we've got a nice good uh, throw and charge in there. Right, let's move these guys forward. Gladiatrices round to the flank. Bring these spears up as well.
spread those units out like that. Velites and levies. Should have had my levies on this side. I mean, look at all of this. Let's reangle those guys. We've got a bit of a bulk up going on here. Support the Hastati. Send the gladiatrices in in a second. Let these guys use up their ammunition. Actually, no, just charge it. And then gladiatrices. Let's also get a nice, good slow motion view from this angle as well. Oh, straight in there. Oh, you can just see them all getting cut down already. There are arms flying off everywhere. That's it. Slice your way through. Right. Okay, now, that's, now that that's in play... Move these Hastati up here. I'm going to make a push towards town center. And we are going to. I mean, we've done quite a lot of damage here already. Been able to use my carry yet, so let's bring them up along the side. Gladiatrices are having an absolute whale of a time. Lyrian hot fights there in the middle. Here comes the enemy cavalry, straight to my line. I should really One of our units has used all the pull my cavalry across to help, but eh. Italian spearmen. Let's get some spearmen down there. Cavalry hit. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. Brave Romans to a man. So I could just swarm this pile here, actually. I'm going to bring my... Pays and Hastati in here. Hold that group down. I'm going to hit that off there. We're actually causing a lot of problems from over there. Pinned down massively over here. This is my gladiatrices are just standing around. That's what want. We have got them all pinned down on the flanks. We're forcing them to bulk up with their infantry, which is fine because my. Actually, hold on. Our general is under attack. That would be spearmen. Let's not go against spearmen. <laughs> yep, that was a very bad idea. We lost 50 odd cavalrymen there. It's not good. To... No, I can't do it for some reason. Never mind. Men of Italia! Orders! Orders! Double time! Uh, no, not you, please. Not you. The other one. There we go. Right. Uh, let's bring you guys in this direction. At speed! Levies, I'm actually going to form up here. Romans, ready for duty! And turn on fire at will. You guys, I'm not even going to use your ammunition yet because... 
this is all very much in our, under our control. And we do need to support over here. Our general's getting shot at. So let's bring General. him forward. Double time. Nice work. We've caught them by surprise from the rear. We ran down their javelins, but we lost a lot of cavalry there. Beatrice is I'm going to pull you back out. Let the Hastati deal with, deal with the rest of that. I'm going to reuse them in a minute. Sons of Mars. Okay, those Japans are going to get wiped out. Yes, they are. Right. Loose. All three of you aim for that back spear unit. General, your orders. At your service. Hippotes are doing good. Let's get some Hastati against the enemy General Hoplite as well. There goes the enemy cavalry. Keep fighting until they're broken. I know I'm going to lose some men against these enemy hot pipes as well. So this might be an interesting tactic for future battles to deliberately give ground or settlements to the enemy and then hit them afterwards with like full force or something like that Riders, at the double. Orders. Pull them up there. so making sure my cavalry can't be used we're using that spearman there but that's not an issue for me because i don't intend to the battle is turning in our favor do anything with them right you guys might as well pull away from there The Tris has come this way. What we're going to do with these guys is bring them around and support on the, <coughs> on the left hand of this engagement. Ladia Trisses are going to run around and support here. Deal with this bolt. And then once this is cleared, I can then move around, sw I can swing around, deal with this unit, and then trap all of this lot as well. All our levies in this direction, I think. All right, Ready. this side is clear. Let's bring these Hastati out as well. Bolster this section. Battle ready. 216, 220, 280. Yeah, go for 220. Slice and dice, ladies. Oh, this one here, that was a great little fight. She got punched in the face and she was like, nope, and stabbed him straight through the chest. I don't think that the cavalry charge into the back one here. Any damage? A little bit, not enough. Let's pull our cavalry back out again. Oh, they've actually pulled that unit away to support. That's not good. Gladiatrices may have a little bit of a problem. Right, group three. Let's uh, bring him to here. Oh, push for push for Gladiatrices are in a little bit of trouble. They're surrounded on two sides. They're holding. They're doing very well. Still got the spearman unit I haven't even used yet. I'm going to bring you around here. Ready for orders. The, the enemy general is dead. Perfect, right. Spear unit. Lock there. Starty. Lock that. General. Lock that. So now we have the town center, of, uh, town center under our control. Doesn't matter if the enemy retreats from the battle because we will. Once we take the town, it's all going to be ours anyway. Aim for the unit of 
right at the back. Yeah, this is completely under our control. Just charge everything. Let's take all of you got out of guard mode. Turn off fire at will here. Yeah, run them all down. Sweet, sweet revenge. And victory, of course. I don't think I lost that many men, actually, looking at the power bars. I probably could have won this in the field. I think, well, maybe not. I don't know. damage. Those gladiatrices are absolutely fantastic. That'll do. Yeah, 594 for 5348. Nice. 694 kills for the gladiatrices. 523 for the principes. We got a unit of Hastati at 662, another one at 623. Cavalry, mercenary cavalry 619. Very good numbers there. My general, of course, still not getting involved. I need to actually really get him involved a bit more so he can improve his um, stats for on the battlefield a bit. But... Give me back my town. Okay. Um, okay, so we don't. The gladiatrices are amazing. I can't keep. I can't keep them. They were there simply to assist me in retaking the town, as were the spearmen. I need the money more than anything, so let's leave it like that. What to build in a riminum? I suppose I could go for a meeting place. Let's get me slightly some slightly extra wealth in there so we'll do that okay perfect anything else to do diplomatically anything nothing good so what we do want to do is bring this army north and retake Pataviam, i suppose or we can maybe just just so that they aren't recruiting stuff i could maybe take Pataviam and like raise it or something not too sure I'm not going to be able to do anything this turn, so let's... Oh yeah, Edict. That's a very good point. Public order. It is under my control, right? Yes, good. Thankfully that Carthaginian fleet hasn't been able to attack me this turn, because I'm in the middle of recruiting two ships. And there's an Epirus fleet as well. What I should really get is another spy for in the south so that I can scout out the Carthaginian settlement of Lilibellum on Sicily. Another child. Awesome. Slave revolt imminent at Magna Graecia. Oh dear. Negative 21 happiness. And that is... Is that genuinely just because of the slaves? Minus 11 to slaves. Minus 18 to provincial instability. Now, I don't know where they're going to rebel. <laughs> Let's, oh, I don't have a lot of money. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this. I haven't got enough money to get a spy. That's great. Ooh. It's not the button I wanted to click, but we'll just check that anyway. So research. So I did the training reforms. So now I want to improve ram damage for my ships. Slaves minus 17. Ooh. 
Yeah, I need to get my slave population down. Where you guys are going? That's your command. Right, I'm going to encamp here. On the move. Ready for further orders. It's a good distance away from anybody. Police reporting. So many enemy ships <laughs> in this area. I could attack the Syracusian yes. fleet. Just to get rid of them. We hunger for battle. Uh, Ready for orders. Maybe I want to push up about halfway just in case Cosentia. I mean, it's going to rebel anyway, so just giving them a little extra is not going to make much difference. I can't get a agent here, though. I get that guy. Okay. Still nothing diplomatically. Okay, so we'll do one more turn flip. And then we're going to have to bring the episode to an end. Okay, so they've spawned in at Brundisium. That's fine. That's away from anything else I have. Oh boy. Okay, well it looks like we are going to be attempting to defend Velathrai at the start of the next episode and based on the power bar it looks like we will likely have to fight there to retake it. Uh, thankfully my army is not too far away but uh, it looks like my main army in the north is basically going to be jumping between Velathrai and Ariminum. I haven't really got a chance to move northwards, which is uh, a bit of a shame. But uh, we will see how this battle goes in the next one. Thank you very much for watching today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.